Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk for a bit about Halloween event, what's happening, what will happen and also a bit of gameplay. So today BSG announced the Halloween event uh, on the 30th of October. Uh, I'll talk about that a bit later. And by the time this video is out, it's gonna be 31st of October and today on the 31st there will be some special events happening in Tarkov um, at 11 p.m. Moscow time. So if you have a chance to pop into the game in one of the raids at 11 p.m. Moscow time, please do. Also, there will be drops available on my channel on Twitch. Link is uh, in the description below. Let's talk about the changes and what's happening. So first of all, right now all car extracts are open on all locations and instead of charging cash, they will charge you one Alenka chocolate bar. Also, killing together can spawn on any single map in the game. They can spawn one by one, or they can spawn together, even on laps. Also, Cautis can spawn on every single map with a 60% chance, and they spawn on Knights and Factory 100% of the time. Sugar has been changed to give you lots of different buffs. It gives you stamina, stamina recovery, energy, uh, it increases your weight limit, endurance, strength, uh, lots of stuff. So if you have some sugar or if you don't just buy it on the flea market, pop it into your um, gamma and you can use it. So only you can do only one use per raid and it will give you lots of boosts. They gave some effects to other items too. For example, if you eat Alonka Bar, it gives you additional strength, endurance, vitality, blah, 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 blah. You can see all of this. And a fun fact about Golden Star. If you use Golden Star, same as me, I always pop it in the beginning of the raid. It gives you... Uh, Contagion? Contusion? Not sure how to spell it. It gives you a um, contusion effect for the first 5 seconds after you use it. Let's talk about the new items which have been added to the game. They are two new masks. First mask is a gold mask and second mask is faceless. It's a mask from the uh, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, movie which is called Spirited Away. Highly recommended to watch it. It's one of those masterpiece movies actually like most of his movies are masterpieces anyway if you've never heard about that please watch it i beg you please do you can find those masks on random scaffs on all locations factory customs any map uh, they spawn randomly and also pumpkin helmet is back you can find it on bosses as well as on regular scaffs so it's not as expensive this time as it used to be in the previous wipes during uh, previous events but i still recommend you to hold on a couple of them, maybe they will go up in price in the future whenever the wipe approaches. One other thing which I nearly forgot to cover is the scav case. I doubt, please load, thank you. Um, I don't have a scav case, but basically before you could have sent them for money, alcohol or intelligent folder, right now you can send them for sugar, I think Alonka bar and something else. and. Uh, I've seen people getting green keycards and red keycards whenever they send scavs for sugar. So if you have a scav case, please try that out. Maybe you'll be lucky. Also, another small change is that usual scav knives are poisonous now. As you can see, it says two out of two. That means that knife is poisoned and uh, whenever you slice someone, that will apply poison to them. I have more or less covered everything I wanted to cover. And if you have any questions, please feel free to pop um, into my stream on Twitch. Link is down below and ask me any questions. And right now is the time for me to show you some gameplay, some action. So without further ado, enjoy. What's up, dark? <gasps> the pumpkin head chat, the pumpkin head. The pumpkin hat is gonna be worth millions! Millions, chat. This helmet is gonna be super expensive, trust me. Sound that sounded like <laughs> skill, uh, bro. Come on, I was behind the wall. He couldn't kill me, bro. That's bullshit. He couldn't kill me. I was behind the wall for him. Does the guy have hundred percent? No, no, no. It's not. 
The Gila is like 30% spawn chance on every map, and same goes for Killam. Kalt is still on the same maps. You can find them on Nighttime Factory, and apparently they spawn very often. I don't know, chat, should I play with flashlight or should I play with uh, cheap night vision or something? I feel like with flashlight it feels spooky. Spooky ish. Is he using KS? Well, nearly. Oh my lord, this is so OP chat. If you actually just came here in the dark, nobody can fucking see you. fuck was this? Do they spawn like on ceilings? I'm scared this guy has a night vision. Cause I don't really see any flashlights. Well, in any case, I don't think there are any cultists in the, in this run, so we can just reset. <laughs> but Val, did you check underneath? I actually haven't, you're right. So dark in there. I see that body in the right hallway. It's a player. myself did they trade or wait that's that's cultist that's a cultist yeah Siktan killed him with SVDS so there is another one with SVD chat
bro. It's really scary. He can tap me. Little shit nading me. Bruh. They also tanky. I wonder if that's the one with SVD. Um, yep. I think this is a player's calf. Cause he's running and jumping. Spooky chat. Spooky. <laughs> GG. What was this? <sighs> they are spooky chat. Running, running around so fast and making absolutely no sounds. Cultists everywhere, cultists everywhere, bro. I feel like I need a bigger backpack. And I think I also need a bigger flashlight. Wow. Didn't see him, didn't hear him. He's got a night vision. Uh huh. Not today, son. Not today. Helmet with night vision, bro. Fancy. Fancy schmancy chat. <laughs> Kalt's knife is worthless. You can sell it for 20k to to Jaeger. Three knives, 60k bro. Even more like 60, 63k. 